Hey vloggers, just finished up at IHOP where I did my live show. I did, actually I did my live show in the uh, Costco parking lot. And then I, uh, but this morning I did the uh, vlog, pretty much sitting in this spot, but facing that way. I made sure that wall there was, hang on, let me take you off there for a second. So that was the wall that was behind me uh, that I blurred out this section because I actually think you could maybe see a little bit of the, the IHOP in the rear view. Uh, rear windows and this area too so I wasn't sure so I just blurted it out so you guys couldn't tell uh, somebody did try to guess but uh, they were wrong wow hello there Mr. Whisper it's miraculous how after 17 years on YouTube Mr. Whisper has never managed to develop an interesting or charismatic way to open his vlogs why he thinks that pointless banter if you can even call it that, about every little thing he gets up to has to be included is beyond me. It wasn't whatever they thought it was. But I gotta get home and start editing this. Today is Thursday, the last day of August, which really sucks. Suffering from cognitive difficulties from all the years of alcoholism, Mr. Whisper? He is always referring to his phone or his watch to check what day of the week it is. Then again, it might also just be his ego needing to show off that he has all these smart gadgets, even though he is constantly bemoaning how broke he is. Uh, I gotta turn those windows down a little bit. I think I've got all the shots I need, done my drone shots. Checking my drone shots while I'm trying to get out of this parking lot. your shitty drone. I see you're still flying it over traffic and potentially pedestrians walking along sidewalks. I suspect Mr. Lisper doesn't know any of the regulations of CAR. That's the Canadian Aviation Regulations as it pertains to MRPAS or Micro Remotely Piloted Aircraft Systems. Provided he has not added anything to his drone, like a larger battery or additional cameras, that would make it heavier than the 249 gram weight. He doesn't require any certification. However, under CAR 900.06, it stipulates, operate a remotely piloted aircraft system in such a reckless or negligent manner as to endanger or be likely to endanger aviation safety or the safety of any person. This means that when he flies it over moving traffic, he is potentially putting people at risk. If his drone loses connection and were to crash into a moving vehicle that then causes a motor vehicle accident, he would be liable. God forbid if someone were to be seriously injured or killed, then Ken could be charged with manslaughter. Of course, Ken likely doesn't give a damn about any of this as he needs to be seen as a serious videographer and people are just props to him. So as we're driving, the sun's just going to go all around and it's going to bug the lens a little bit but uh, yeah I had a okay sleep I wish I could have uh, I wish I'd gone to bed a little bit earlier but that road there is really loud uh, if, if I was to do it again I'd sleep on this side of the building and it might block out some of the traffic because every once in a while you get that you know racing motorcycle or 
big semi trailer, tractor trailer, using their uh, engine brake. <laughs> You know that sound. <laughs> they have sounds like signs uh, in small communities letting truckers know, uh, please don't use that brake, but obviously this is not a small community. It's a very, very uh, busy city. We all know Ken to be a total moron already, as he is usually clueless about everything. But this is just absurd. I am not aware of any signage or bylaws regarding air brakes being used or not used in small communities. Transport trucks or certain large vehicles like buses only have air brakes, you putts. So tell me how you would like them to stop their momentum if they can't use them. Some communities might have bylaws regarding, say, their air horn usage, or certain streets have restrictions for the number of axles or weight. But air brakes? Once again, the doofus is making shit up. Meanwhile, he was complaining about being kept up when we all know he was peacefully sleeping at some nearby Motel 6. Now I've got, um, oh, I don't know if that's, it says, not, uh, still there, sure. So it says I'm going to be home around 3.45, which is about an hour and one minute from now. I like that. Coming out of that into an actual turning lane as opposed to coming out into traffic and then trying to get into a turning lane. And that's how I like that. Nice. Blah, 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 blah. Again, Ken has this asinine notion that everything he does or thinks is such riveting footage for a vlog video. For all the video watching on YouTube, he claims to do his research for any number of the diets or trends he thinks he can steal and make work for him. He doesn't actually seem to comprehend what makes them a winning formula. For one, all these other people actually have charisma and they don't have total tunnel vision for the money potential. So we have to get onto Steels. It's about 82 kilometers from here. That'd be an easy bike ride, eh? Still trying to sell the delusion that you are a semi-serious biker, eh, Ken? You can't even walk from your driveway into the back door of your shack without getting completely winded. This means you have zero stamina. People who are physically active the way you try and portray yourself build up lung capacity and stamina. That is why, for example, a runner is able to endure the 23.6 miles of a marathon as their bodies are able to regulate themselves with the amount of oxygen they are able to take in. Ken probably watches the Tour de France on television and thinks that is so simple even he could do it because I'm Ken Domic and I am invincible. I am invincible. Yes, I am invincible. I've done those. Yeah, like I said in the vlog, I think I said in the, yesterday's vlog that the staff here were amazing. Got to meet the owners, because again, five five of the staff knew who I was, uh, which is really cool. Bragging about how somebody knew you, because this YouTube dream is all about fame and fortune for you. Meanwhile, you constantly say you are making all this content for the viewers. You are like Joseph Goebbels, the Nazi propaganda minister, trying to indoctrinate people into your framework of acceptable thinking by saying ad nauseum, everything is done for you. Trying to infer that you is the viewers, 
But in reality, you are sitting back with a grin on your smug face, knowing you means me, Ken Domic. Oh, and before you try and put words in my mouth or twist the context of what I just said, as that is what you do with your propagandist views, I am not inferring you are a Nazi, Ken. I'm merely saying you are employing their tactics to indoctrinate your viewers to believe you are the person you want them to see you as and that you are doing everything you do for unselfish reasons, which is the furthest thing from the truth. We know it as we saw the man behind the curtain that you were trying so desperately to make people ignore, but you know it's true. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Who are you? Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. I said come back tomorrow. If you are really great and powerful, you keep your promises. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures think yourselves lucky that I'm giving you audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. Oh. The great Oz has spoken. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great and Oz has spoken. Who are you? Oh, I, I, I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. And uh, we did a big group picture, and uh, so she told, because she was probably one of the, the main managers, so she messaged the owners, and when she found out I was going to, when I was doing the 24-hour stealth camp, she knew I was coming back the next day. Okay, I think all windows need to go up now. I'll turn this on, though. And uh, she let her boss know that I was coming back, so he was ready. <laughs> two, two of the, the owners uh, wanted to greet me, shake my hand. Uh, they they wanted to pay me back uh, for the food. They wanted to give me my money back, but I, I just said no. Notice how before he said, I just said no. That he scratched his forehead and looked away from the camera. This is a common tell for Ken when he is about to spew out a lie. Ken has often said in his past videos that he wanted to have deals with restaurants, hotels, or companies where he could come in and eat the food, stay in a suite, or get products for free and quote unquote review whatever it is even though he hasn't reviewed food in what seems like eons. Ken was afraid that food reviews were why his channel views and revenue from YouTube were massively on the decline years ago. It couldn't be the massive amounts of constructive criticism that he has been given, for free mind you, that could have helped him if he took any of it seriously and made minor changes, right? Instead, he makes whiny videos like this one where he calls us out and makes excuses about how we are wrong and are just hateful people that troll him for no reason. That is narcissism and sociopathic behavior, Ken. Just so it helps you, those are rather large words for you. Narcissism is excessive interest in or an admiration of oneself and one's physical appearance. Sociopath is a mental health condition in which a person consistently shows no regard for right and wrong and ignores the rights and feelings of others. You check off both these boxes completely, so this is not an assumption. You have proven them time and time again. When you tried to kill off the KDRC channel, and then my channel, or any of the other channels that have popped up with your bogus, frivolous, 
and illegal copyright strikes, you showed no regard for our rights to voice an opposition in a reactionary way. You didn't care how it affected our feelings, and you actually went out of your way to mock us and say some pretty despicable things using secondary accounts. You came into a video premiere chat under one of my videos using your gaming channel login and gleefully boasted about how I was not monetized. Well, that changed, didn't it, schmuck? Uh, it, it causes too many problems on the internet uh, with people who, I'm not sure why things like that bother people, but uh, if you wanna try to explain it, go ahead, explain why that would bother you. Ah, uh, there's the chem laugh when he thinks he has the high ground in the debate when he has made no definitive argument to refute ours. Ken, the problem is you are dishonest about your reasoning for doing your channels in comparison to the thousands of other channels. You just sat there and told a fabricated story making it seem like you are being such a noble or wonderful guy and wanting to help the owners. However, Seconds later, you gave the real reason, which was because you get grief about it and you don't understand why. You ask for an explanation, and when you get it, you later claim we are just angry people who spread nothing but hate. You denigrate our audiences and say yours is perfect and only spreads positivity. Meanwhile, you neglect to take into account those of us who run these reaction channels and our audiences were all once fans or viewers of yours. For years, until you let cracks in your facade show the real you. And we understand what you really are all about. You have been shown evidence of your audience making death threats, telling others to harm themselves, or even hoping for ill fate to strike, and you not once have used your platform to denounce it. Shame on you, Ken, for your ignorance. As a favorite villain of yours says, Ignorance is bliss. You are just unwilling to accept any reasons we give you that are well argumented and accurate. Uh, I, you know, I just promoted their re their restaurant for free. Your definition of for free is so misleading, Ken. You use their restaurant for free as a prop and filming location to make money off the video you put on your channel. So that is not free advertising. How do you not understand this? And he just wanted to show his gratitude and appreciation for me to coming to their location, just like Fat Bass Burrito did. But, uh, you know, people, I don't know why people get mad. Why? <laughs> Who is getting mad? People are merely pointing out the falsities you are trying to lay out, Ken. Why is it you cannot be transparent and honest? Heck, you just mentioned another chain. Why? You constantly add places to your social media posts, hoping they will take notice and offer you things. Look at the Jackery nonsense. You received merchandise for free to promote on your channel and you have not once made this known publicly using the paid promotion tool on YouTube. In Canada, that is illegal and you are subject to be fined for each infraction. So every video that you show or mention the Jackery where you do not check that little box is evidence that you can have used against you. Nothing you do on your channel is ever for free, so don't try and play the victim with your crocodile bullshit. 
Why, people? There's no reason. There's no reason to get angry because somebody appreciated the fact that I came in there. I, I, I do totally get, you know, if, if a restaurant paid me to come in and, and gave me all the food for free, plus paid me, and, uh, you know, it is possible that it might sway my decision on the food that I eat. Uh, Here you have just straight out told us that your opinions can be bought, meaning you have zero integrity and no scruples. So how can anything you say be taken seriously when it is evident you would give a positive opinion even if something is not good? Unbelievable, Ken. There he is again, making sure to reinforce the drama he is trying to build with his propaganda that we are just angry, spiteful, jealous, envious, or any other number of ad adjectives or synonyms he might wish to use to paint us in the negative light he attempts to. It also might cause a bit of a problem where, you know, they know I'm there and they're going to give me that extra special food that you go in there and you order the same thing and you don't get the same treatment, you don't get the same amount of food. We don't care if you get extra special service or additional food lavished on you, as that is something that you don't control, Ken. And honestly, establishments that have to resort to that just have things to hide as they might be attempting to portray themselves in a better light. Why do you think restaurants hire people who make the food in the advertising look so amazing and then it looks nothing like what ends up being tossed into a paper bag and shoved at a drive through window? It is no secret that you love the extra attention doled on you, so don't try and act as if you don't love it. I always tell people if I do get hired to go into a restaurant, I always let them know. I think Ken feels that if he is hired, meaning he is receiving financial compensation and not just free service, food, or product, then that is the only time he has to make it known in his videos, which is incorrect. If you receive anything, you have to make that known. If you see a video that Ken has uploaded on his channels and he shows off items you know he has received for free to promote on his channels and you do not see the includes paid promotion notification in the top left corner, then report the video, please. He acknowledged having a deal with Jackery, and as each time he mentions or shows it, then he is promoting it. The more people that do this, the more pressure that gets put on Ken to be fully transparent. Don't treat me special, they did. They gave me extra pancakes and stuff. They did it at breakfast because they knew who I was now. They didn't know who I was when I first went in there last night uh, or yesterday afternoon. They didn't know who you were right off the bat, Ken? But you made it seem like they knew who you were from the get-go. Don't treat me special, people. Get your story straight, bozo. You want all the special treatment and you know it. I suspect someone asked why an old fart was talking to himself and filming as he gorged himself on copious amounts of food. We know that Ken never relishes a chance to talk about who he is or what he does and what he wants to be world famous for. During the pandemic, when some people in the greater Toronto area who made YouTube channels went viral and got picked up by CTV News in Toronto, I bet Ken was brooding and wishing how his crappy channel got a story for him. But I think by dinner they kind of knew who I was and then this morning they gave me extra food, which they didn't have to. Like, don't give me extra food. <laughs> I don't need extra food. Uh, I can barely eat the stuff that they give me, so. Yet he always orders more food than he really needs and he scarfs it all down. 
Remember when he would drone on about not needing to order pop as he would bring his green water bottle with him? But then he more often than not would order pop, milkshakes, or some other sugar-laden drink as he just has very little self-control or willpower. Don't give him extra food. Because we all know he was fasting his ass off. Meanwhile, he had two to three cheat days a week for his loyal ATMs. I mean, viewers. But again, let's have a little conversation. Uh, please leave comments in the comment section below as to why it would bother you. Let, let's, I guess you have to kind of turn it around and saying, you know, if you had a restaurant, I know there are just people that generally just do not like me. And if they owned a restaurant and I walked in, they would tell me to leave and not come into their restaurant. There's apparently people like that. So now here Ken is playing the victim. As he says, if one of us haters owned a restaurant, we would automatically tell him to leave. Once again proving how ignorant he is and doesn't understand the purpose of our reactions. If I owned a restaurant, I would treat Ken just like any other customer. Unless he did something to warrant expulsion, he could be there. And no, his food would not be tainted, nor would he receive poor, poor service or an attitude. I've constantly said I do not hate Ken. I simply dislike how he lies constantly in his videos and misleads viewers to the motives he has for doing this. He plays the victim and that's just not right. On the internet, uh, I don't. I've never met one, so they, they they like to troll me on my channels and all that. But uh, I, I'm I'm willing to bet if one of them owned a restaurant and I walked in, they would be happy that I was there. Uh, just like all the other restaurants that I've gone to are very very happy. Like Zach in Bowmanville, he's like, dude, you because you are awesome for the small business community and uh and, and he's right and I, I i try to be humble about it but he's right when he said that and it felt made me feel really good uh, that the fact that here i am you know i didn't ask him for any money i didn't ask him for any free food here he is again showing his hypocrisy and how he constantly changes his story a moment ago, he said we would boot him from our restaurants, and now he says we would be happy to have him. Then he has the nerve, or the gall, to say he is humble? Ken, you clearly don't know what the word humble means. How are you being humble if you have to continually point out what you do as being so vital to the success of an establishment? Why would you ask Zach, the owner of Talk of the Town, for money? I know his mother, who is an absolutely wonderful woman. We have had a few nice conversations while I've waited on my order to be prepared as I frequent Talk of the Town. The sheer amount of arrogance is astounding, but just wait. It is about to get worse, y'all. He gave me free food, which I appreciated. And uh, he he sold out because of my video. So B that's a lie. B that's a lie. B that's a lie. You sir are a liar. <laughs> liar, liar. Your pants are on fire. It is disgusting that you took free food from a small business when you likely make more off your YouTube channel than they do given the small margins in the food industry. Then you say he sold out because of your video? Wrong! Zach sells out often as they only have the ability to prep so much for each day as on top of the restaurant they also have catering. You have some nerve to think that you are the reason that a local favorite spot had anything to do with your video, Ken. I, 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 you know, I, I, again, I get the fact that when a company gives me money and free food, that I try not to rate. I think I, that was the rule back in the day was if I'm sponsored, I don't rate the food. I haven't done ratings besides maybe a handful of times sporadically in years. 
as you thought that was the reason for your declining views. So you went from being a food critic or reviewer to having food adventures. Though the fact you can't even recall your own practices shows that you really didn't care about offering viewers fair and honest ratings when you were sponsored. Because it will seem like that's the whole sellout thing, right? So, but you guys know, so the whole word sellout, just to give you guys a heads up if you don't know, it's when a company that I don't particularly like reaches out to me and says, hey Ken, would you like to, uh, we really we really like what you do on your channel and we really want you to uh, tell people that the shampoo is awesome. And I take that offer, that $10,000 offer to, to make a video about how good their shampoo is, even though you guys know I don't use shampoo. You know what I mean? That's a seller. Isn't it shocking that he picks shampoo for his example, knowing he shaves his head to hide the fact he is balding? To prove how he is not a sellout? You are still a sellout as you will take money whenever it is presented to you. Granted, you don't really get endorsement offers anyways. I've never seen any of the shaving companies, Tees, Probiotics, Raycon, Vessi, etc. sponsoring any of your videos as you just don't get the level of views to make it worth their time or investment. But I'm sure you take every opportunity that came your way. Though, I'd say you are more, more of a shill as you try and do everything out of self-interest and personal profit. I sell it as somebody who, what is it called? I think it's something like uh, someone who, somebody who's willing to damage their integrity for money. That's what a sellout is, again. Me advertising something that you guys already know I don't like and saying, hey guys, this thing's good. That is one small part of it, Ken. How about going forward, you don't take any sponsor opportunities, if you even get any to begin with, and prove you aren't just in it for the money and personal advancement. You feel you aren't compromising your integrity, but you are still taking it for financial gains or personal advancement. You won't do that, though, as you are very much a materialistic person. That's a seller. You guys know I love Waffle House. You guys know I love IHOP. You guys know there's a lot of restaurants that I love. If one of them wants me to go and give me money to promote a new item or a new location, that's not a seller because you guys already know I like that company. I like that food. So uh, it's a win-win situation. How is it a win-win, Ken? You don't get enough views to make it worthwhile as most of your videos can't even crack 30,000 views in a month. You have a handful of videos that managed to get to 100,000 views. Compared to other channels, it is rather pathetic. Meanwhile, Steve Wallace, who now has nearly one and a half million subscribers, gets 350,000 views on the low end and over a million plus on the higher end. His latest video, released about a week ago, has 565,000 views. In the screens, your Red Lobster video that had two extra days got a measly 43,000 views to the 565,000 by Steve. You still going around telling people that Steve is a friend and that you two are definitely going to collab even though he said he has no affiliation with you nor any intentions of ever working with you. If I like the product and they want to pay me to promote that product to let you guys know that that product exists or that restaurant or that new location. Ever since I've done the, the Chick-fil-A's, they keep reaching out to me and telling me and uh, letting me know of all these new products because they appreciated me doing the, the videos I've done in the past. Same with McDonald's, same with Harvey's and just regular restaurants. 
they 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 value the videos because they know I have an amazing support system like you guys who once I tell you about something you guys go and try it what value Ken I just don't see it at all guess Chick-fil-a likes that you are transphobic or that you don't care about black lives after all that chain has had issues regarding bigoted and racist views which you yourself have also had issues with I still find it hard to believe you get any sponsorships but again you don't report it using the YouTube declaration tools which is illegal in Ontario and Canada and then you guys let me know I've seen people come back and say whether they had a good uh, positive outcome or a negative outcome you guys come back and let me know on that video and I would say nine out of ten it's always good people agreed with me yeah you're right Ken the food's good staff are amazing I call bullshit on the 90% track record you say you have from your audience show your evidence to support this claim Ken even you don't have 90% at most establishments you frequent as you have often complained about something on most visits I wasn't really going to go down that path with you guys today uh, but that's just the way the, the vlog went uh, as I'm trying to get home to my lovely wife and uh, my cats I'd love to know their honest opinions of Ken he would say they love him unconditionally but for the longest time Carol didn't want to be in his videos but he'd try and force it upon her we all know Ben shied away from it as he likely understood his father didn't have the most ideal online presence. The cats likely just won't bite the hand that feeds them. And I won't be eating anything until tomorrow night because I ate too much food over the last two days. But I ended this video off with a steak and eggs, hash browns unfortunately. Uh, again, hash browns are you know starch and they're probably cooked in oil same with the eggs I always I, I think in the future there's a lot of accidents around here last night there was an accident really close to our eyes there's an accident over here I don't know what is going on lots of ambulances oh my goodness someone was probably just careless while driving Ken you know the sort of behavior you constantly do by focusing on your cameras taking your hands off the steering wheel holding your cameras to film b-roll footage and so on it takes a split second for an accident to happen this is another thing people could document by reporting it to the Ontario Provincial Police as your videos are evidence of careless driving perhaps you might be on their radar I bet he wishes he could have gotten footage of what he was seeing as we know how much Ken loves to exploit the misery of others for their pain and suffering. Something big happened. Yikes. Hope everybody's okay. Yeah, in the near future, I, I want to do like a, uh, you know, carnivore diet for seven days kind of thing and uh, try it out, see if I can do it. Yes, this is where the idea for January 2024 came from just going from one fad diet to the next as Ken wants to find simple ways to try and lose weight so he can gorge himself on fast food booze and not have it haunt him wonder when he gives Ozempic or Wagovi a go after all in another video we learned that Ken has around 60 some odd percent body fat uh, my dry lean mass is 37.7 uh, my body fat mass is 62.6 unless he as usual read it wrong Let's see if I how strictly strict I can be on that uh, and if I do go out to a restaurant I'm gonna have to ask them to cook my eggs in butter please don't use any seed oil because seed oil is not good for you uh, olive oil is good for you lard clarified butter ghee I guess is another word for it I think ghee and clarified butter are the same thing so uh, it has a higher temperature burn smoke point I guess is, is the correct terminology so yeah 
uh, when I when I do go out to restaurants to make videos for you guys, I'm gonna have to ask them to cook it a certain way to try and keep as close to the carnivore diet as possible. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching once again. Uh, I guess this video, whoa, he's gonna end up in an ambulance. Uh, and Ken will be right there with his camera at the ready. Because I'm doing 110 and he just passed me, probably doing 140, 130. And he's just taken off now. What? So this, I guess, is going up for the 1st of September. So uh, welcome to September. And uh, I'll try to vlog every single day. And again, thanks to the people that asked me certain questions that helped me make a vlog around that question. So thanks to everyone who asked quite Whoa, that guy cut the other guy off really bad. I don't know if I'm going to be vlogging anymore because I don't think I'm going to make it home. Ken putting on the drama once again, trying to seek some empathy from his viewers to have concern for his well-being. Oy vey. Because people are crazy right now. Boy, okay, I'm going to stop recording. Bye. Stop recording. What a way to end his video. No real sign-off, just stop recording with the brain dead look on his face. What a total farce of a video. Trying to label us as trolls and haters as always rather than seeing our constructive criticism for the tool that it is so that he can try and fix the problems with his videos. He is just too set in his ways of being lazy and wanting things to be handed to him for as little effort as he can possibly do. What we are seeing is a channel slowly dying as the content is has been going downhill for years and the presenter, Ken Domic, letting his vitriol show and then blaming the failures on us as being why he is hurting where it matters the most, his bank account. There is no saving this channel anymore as Ken has just left it to fester for too long and it is rotten to the core. Pity, but not surprising. Ken is a sellout, a shill, and hell. He is even on the verge of being a grifter or con man. Perhaps the latter two labels aren't as applicable right now as he doesn't seem to do this get me plastered live shows on the weekends anymore as he likely knew that would not end well for his channel with potential crackdowns over at YouTube. When will Ken admit that the wheels have fallen off his gravy train? I think we are at the point and rather than just walking away, his hate keeps him here to project his own shortcomings of hatred on us. It is deflect, project, and reject from Ken. That being said, it feels so good to have the first video back under my belt. I have missed the community so much in the three long years I have been going through a rather serious medical condition that nearly took my life. Still not completely 100% yet, but I'm getting there. Ken, though, hasn't changed at all from what I have seen during my absence. Hopefully I didn't drone on too much. I know this was a lengthy video and was quite wordy, but this could be due to having so much to say about Ken and not having the ability to do it for so long. So I found it difficult to self-edit. This is what I will be trying to do moving forward. The video is somewhat basic as I'm on a laptop that lacks a discrete video card and as such video editing takes quite a while. At any rate, the channel is once again alive and I intend to keep it that way and build it back up to what it once was. Hopefully everyone enjoyed and that what I had to say was spot on in refuting Ken's claim that he is not a sellout. Until the next video, this is KDDE signing out. Thanks and be well everyone.